Hey there, Nick Judithakis here. In this video, we're going to go over remapping the X, capital X, and delete keys in Vim so that when you delete characters under your cursor, it is not going to overwrite what's in your system clipboard. For example, if I type in hello world here and yank that with YY, I can just paste this here on new lines all I want, right? I am copy pasting through my system clipboard as well, not just to the Vim register here. But when you're coding, once in a while, it's super handy to be able to just delete a couple of characters, but you don't want to necessarily overwrite what's in your clipboard. For example, let's say I'm in world here and I just want to delete the W and O. So I I can hit the X key on the keyboard in normal mode, and that's going to delete those characters. Likewise, I can also hit the delete key here. I know you can't see my hands, but I hit the delete key there, and that's going to also delete the characters. But check this out. If I paste what's here, I still have hello world in my clipboard. And by default, without these remaps that we're going to go over, Vim will actually write those characters to your clipboard. And um, in the day-to-day, -day, at least the way I use Vim, I found that to be just slightly annoying. So yeah, I remapped that stuff in Vim. Uh, so let's take a look at that. So I do have an alias set up on my dot .files here just to quickly launch like config file Vim. And then if I go to, where is this at? It's over here. So the X and uh, uppercase X binds, I've had he these here for quite some time, but I only recently added the delete key one because I don't know, I didn't start using Vim like 20 years ago, right? In my brain, my muscle memory hits the delete key so often, especially outside of Vim. And even inside of Vim, I just find my uh, fingers going towards delete instead of hitting X, even though like 99% of the time hitting X is going to be a lot faster. You know, that's something I'm just trying to train my brain to do. But in the end, yeah, I find myself wanting to delete characters all the time without overwriting what's in my clipboard. And that's what all three of these remaps do. Now, I actually don't know enough about registers to really explain this in full detail, but you know, instead of writing the X key out to, I guess, a shared register that's gonna go to like the unnamed clipboard or whatever, we just send it to the X register. And I don't know if there's any special meaning behind X. Well, I know it is some type of like, black hole register, but not quite, like it still allows things to pass through or whatever, but yeah, it just doesn't overwrite what's in your clipboard. If someone has a better explanation of that, that'd be much appreciated if you can drop that in the comments below. But yeah, this is super nice. And by the way, these mappings are for normal mode, but if I actually select like the word prevent here and hit the X key on the keyboard, that is going to delete it completely. But if I paste here, we still have hello world there. It didn't overwrite what's in the clipboard as well. Actually, I don't want to save that. I want to revert that. But yeah, there we go, right? So these three simple remappings will get you going. now. I know there's going to be some diehard Vimmers out there where you may not agree with this one because it's overwriting default behavior, but in my day-to-day, -day, I don't really feel like I'm missing out by remapping these uh, keystrokes or, you know, uh, actions here because, yeah, I think I still remember because I've had these first two binds in here for so long, like a year and a half, but I only recently added the, the delete one. But for these over here, I remember someone once said that having these remapped disallows you from being able to like swap two adjacent characters. So like if you're over the A character like, like this, I think there's some mapping you can do like X and some other key that would just swap the N and the A. But yeah, that's just not something I really do in my day to day, but I do find myself deleting characters all the time without wanting to override the clipboard. So I'm totally happy with these binds. And by the way, if you like this bind, you can either, you know, drop it into your VimRC file just by pausing the video, but it is going to be up in my VimRC file up in my dot files repo. It's been there actually for quite some time now, except for this well last one here. So I'll leave a link to that one in the description. On that note, this is a quick video. Hope you liked the tip. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps a lot. On that note, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.